So, are you ready? I'm gonna, like, introduce her. Yay! She's live! You guys, everybody, this is James's mom, Margaret. So, everybody say hi to Margaret. There she is. There she is. You guys, really quick, this is Margaret, and she's actually walked the Camino. Does anybody know what the Camino is? Really quick, before we get into the story. The Camino in Spain. Has anybody ever heard of walking the Camino? Or watch the movie The Way. Have you guys watched the movie The Way? I just watched it. It was pretty cool. See, a lot of people in America don't know the Camino. This is why it's so good that you're going to be on here, because I feel like not that many people know. So, I'm what is this about that? Yeah, yeah, I'm surprised about that because I met so many Americans while I was walking. Um, it's an ancient pilgrimage. So yeah. it goes, well, I walked from France all the way across the Pyrenees and then over to the west coast of Spain. So it's about 980 kilometres, something like that. So you guys, yep. she walked, and walked it <laughs> twice. And then I did another one last year and I walked all the way from the south of, Fran of Spain to the north. Yes. Uh, that's about 1,300 kilometers, something like that. So if you guys haven't seen the movie The Way, I, I haven't seen it until recently when uh, we watched it recently, and it actually explains kind of like what it is with a cool little story. It, Of course, Margaret says it's like nothing like that. Like they don't show the blisters. They don't show like the real stuff that happens on the Camino. But if you guys do watch the movie The Way, you can kind of get the, the gist of it. And like really quick, I'll ask you some questions about it. So we're going to talk about our tattoo, which is about the Camino in a second. But this is a good time just to talk about the Camino because so many people didn't know what it was. So, um, like, there's reasons why people do that. And, like, what are, what are some of those reasons that why people go and, like, walk the Camino? Like, what was your reason why you went? Oh, okay. Um, well, it is an ancient Catholic pilgrimage, so you do meet a lot of Catholics, a lot of priests, nuns, people like that, just yeah. different people. Um, a lot of people I met were getting over illness or something and just proving they're alive. Um, yeah. A lot of people were ex-army, ex-armed forces and they were um, PTSD sufferers and yeah. I walked it because I read about it about 20 years ago and just thought, yeah, I want to do that. And I don't know, it, just, it was time to do it. Life presented the moment, so I went. Yeah, it's so crazy, guys. And, like, it's something that you can't just go over and fly and buy some walking shoes and do it. You really do have to prepare for it and actually – I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like do this because I have it right here. She actually just walk. She just wrote a book, which is really, really awesome. She just wrote this book, and it's called Walking Back Home. And two o two, nice. And this is like kind of like her story, but also a little bit like she has a checklist in here. She has everything that you need to know about going to the Camino. So if you guys are interested, oh, that's a good question, D'Angelo. We'll, we'll get to that. Um, if you guys have any qu questions about this, I'm gonna have her put that book link in the in the chat, and you guys can actually purchase this and like read about it if it's something that you're interested in. Um, I'm still like halfway through; I haven't read it. I'm like halfway in, but it's really really <laughs> yeah. awesome. Well, the first part of it is my story, and the second part is what you need to know if you want to do it. Yeah. So it's and, yeah. So um, D'Angelo just asked, did you feel safe on the trail? Yeah, I felt safer there than I do at home. <laughs> so that's another story. There's people that do it alone. Like you do it alone the yeah. first time, but you meet so many people too. Yeah, but there's so many people you're never on your own. Yeah, um, so what, here what, what was that, the longest? Uh, oops, sorry, I just interrupted. What was the longest that you didn't see anyone? Is there any times that you like walked for like a couple kilometers and you never saw anyone? It was just you? Did you ever see that? Or was there always just somebody there? Yeah, yeah, there was lots of times I walked on my own. Um, I try to make sure there's someone in front of me and someone behind so that I felt safe, but yeah. um, I didn't feel scared. Yeah, that's cool. It's so cool. After I watched The Way, I know even though I, like, I didn't even know about the Camino before I met James and his mom, but like after watching The Way is when I was like, you know what, I kind of want to do it. I think it's cool. And after seeing The Way and I kind of saw like, what it was and how many people you meet and how many people from all over the world and hearing the stories of why they're doing it and why like all of that stuff is so cool to me I'm all about the story and that's another reason why I wanted to bring Margaret on here is because not only does she have a tattoo that we're going to get to because I forgot this is a tattoo show I'm not you know one sign she does have a tattoo but she I want her to make a Camino uh gravy 
I think it's really cool. There's so many people that walk it and so many people that like want to talk about it and want to like tell their stories and want to like do all of this stuff. So I'm going to set up a gravy account for Margaret when it's time and you guys will be able to come onto her show and hear other people's stories of why they wanted to do it and why they walked it and their stories and what happened with them. And Margaret's going to do some kind of like interview show and also some tips where she's going to go through the different companies that she uses, maybe the walking poles or maybe the shoes that you should buy or anything like that. So it's a really cool. I, I can't wait to have her Camino um, gravy show because it's going to be something really cool. And you are a natural. Someone said on there, you're the, you're, you're a natural on camera. So you don't, I, I, she was really nervous to come on, but I'm like, you got this, you got this, you got this. So mm -hmm. you guys stay tuned for that really quick. Um, Adidas just asked, what was the scariest moment on the trail? Do you have any? Uh, probably the first day. <laughs> it, um, I wasn't as good as I should have been. And uh, the first day, it's constantly climbing uphill. You climb a mountain on the first day. And I thought I was going to die. <laughs> it was tough. It was really um, vertical and really tough. So I felt like I was going to drop dead. <laughs> that was it was just really exhausting. And I thought, I've got all this ahead of me. How am I going to do it? But yeah. So how long did it take you the first time? The first one was, what, north to south? How long did that, was that how many days? Yeah, it was uh, east to west. That took me five and a half weeks. The other one was six and a half okay. weeks. And every day you're walking, how many kilometers? Did you have a set goal for every kilometer? I mean, like. Um, look, I average probably about 20 to 25 k's a day. And then stopping. I want to do it just for the fitness thing. I want to do it for the fitness. <laughs> we also have um, someone said, what was a lot? Oh, Lexi asked, how long did it take you to prepare? So, like, you got to, like, get walking before the Camino. Does it take, do you? That's a big one because it depends on how fit you are to start with. Um, yeah. I had an office job and I was working really long hours and I didn't have much time to train. So that was my problem. Um <laughs> So the first one you weren't prepared, the second one you were It gets you very fit very quickly. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, walking that far every day. That's a lot of steps, yeah, you guys. You know, that's, the in, that's the most important thing is have your shoes well worn in. Otherwise, you end up with blisters. That's, that's a good tip. So you guys, really quick, do you guys, want to, do you guys want to see her tattoo? Like, we are on a tattoo show. Do you guys want to actually see her Camino tattoo? Oh. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> Sorry, good. Good. Don't mind that, Chelsea. I am... Um, yeah, go ahead. I didn't think I'd be able to walk that far. I never in a million years dreamt that I could do that. So I jokingly said to James, who you know is a tattoo artist, if I finish, you can give me a tattoo. Nice. So that's when I've got one because I did it. <laughs> yeah, and if you guys don't know, James is my boyfriend and he is a tattoo artist. And I'm going to share the screen really quick so you guys can see and then you can explain the tattoo if you want. Let me just share my screen really quick. It's a picture of an ancient pilgrim from medieval times. Yes. So it's pretty small because if you guys see next to it is the coin there. So it's a pretty small um, tattoo on her ankle. Um, and I'm guessing the 2005 is, of course, when you walk the first Camino. Yes, right? Yep. Yep. And then James and they were like kind of like planning the next one because, you know, she since she walked this, she walked it again. So, with, you know, you got to add the, something else. So she's thinking right now on how to add more to this one, which I think is really cool. And um, it's a really good story. And I'm sure people I don't know if people like see it and they ask you or maybe they notice it. Like, have you ever had someone on the street actually come up to you and say, oh, my God, did you walk the Camino by seeing that tattoo? No. no. Not yet. Yeah. Yeah. No. I'm glad that you're there to educate everyone because, um, like, I think, I don't know, I think that there's not that many people that know about it, and I think that's why another thing for Gravy, too, because a, a lot of people are going to know about it and get inspired by your stories and your tips and everything, and maybe the El Camino, yeah, the Camino shell, Missy, little Missy knows about the shell. Tell us about the shell really quick because, do you have it right there? Oh, I, it, I can't reach it from here. Uh, the shell? Um, it's a traditional thing. Um, in the ancient times when people used to walk the Camino, they had to walk to the West Coast and collect a shell from the beach to prove that they'd walked it and then walk back again with the shell as proof. It also is supposed to represent, well, the, the reason you walk to Santiago in the west part of Spain is that it's where St James is buried, supposedly, in the cathedral. And... When his body was washed up, apparently it was covered with scallop shells. 
So it's another reason they use the scholarship. Ah, uh, cool. it is cool, and you guys will see it in the movie if you watch oh, the movies, can I? Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's it. That's the Camino show. Awesome. That's so, my certificate. See. You get that with finished walking. Yeah, it's cool. I'm glad that you came on. I'm glad that we kind of are talking about this, even though this is a tattoo show, but it's all about the tattoo. But you know what I'm saying? It's also really cool to be inspired and learn something. You guys learn something that you maybe didn't know about it before. So um, I'm going to have you on again and we can do like, because I want you to come on the Yo live show where we're talking to people that do big things in social media. Because I know there's a lot of things coming up for you. And one of them is the release of your new book. And um, I think it's really cool. I'm going to have you put the link in the chat when we hang up on, when I hang up on you. That way, if somebody wants to check out your book, you can um, order it on Amazon. And you guys can um, read her book and get inspired some more. And you guys can come and watch her gravy show when she comes on. So, um, Margaret, thank you so much. Yeah. For What? <laughs>